Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and today I wanted to show you guys this uh, new project, and this is a Memphis Car Audio dual 12-inch box. And yeah, I want to do a demo of it and show you off real quick. And like I said, this is a project box, so it's going to be reconditioned, and I'm going to modify it. I'm going to play a demo track and show it off. <laughs> That's a general gist of uh, this little project box. The only thing really wrong with it is just the carpet. As you guys can see down here, it's not rot or anything, it's just paint or whatever. It's nothing bad. It's not rotting away, it's just ripped. Uh, it did get a little wet, so I'm, like I said, I'm going to recondition this box. It's a very nice box. The uh, On the inside, it's very, very, very clean. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not. But yeah, it's a very clean box. No damage. Uh, I believe it's completely sealed through all the uh, everything on the sides and everything is, is sealed. So the only major issue, if anything, will be this on the back side. It's just the terminal's broken. Wow, big deal. Nothing really big deal actually. And just joking around. And yes, if you guys haven't noticed, this is mostly just a joke video. These are not real subwoofers. Or I wouldn't even fucking consider these things speakers. They're uh, old 1980s-ish pioneers, very basic floor standing speakers I just threw in it, they're 12s, but um, yeah, a little bit too small for this box, uh, well these speakers anyway. These speakers are meant for a lot, lot, lot smaller uh, cubic volume um, box than this. But it's only I had to throw in it for now since I can actually try it out. It does decently sound uh, well, it uh, does sound pretty decent. The uh, lows, it doesn't really reproduce lows at all. Mostly mids and highs around the, uh, I would say probably 37 hertz, maybe 50 hertz. But I want to get a uh, get it tuned down a little bit lower, so I'm going to try to find some subs that I can uh, get this thing to produce some lows really nicely, because I like uh, down to 20 hertz or so. That's probably about my limit. Uh, every other one of my speakers are produce, it can produce, reproduce uh, 20 hertz really quite well, um, except for this big 15 inch. It's not really a 15 inch subwoofer, that's kind of why doesn't really have much uh, excursion play out of the uh, speaker itself so unlike the uh, Sony one down there that's an actual subwoofer and this one's an actual subwoofer and the rest of these are just speakers obviously this is not subwoofers like I said I'm just playing around with it testing it out uh, this box is gonna be reconditioned I'm gonna wind up probably ripping this carpet off I may or may not keep this top logo because I do kind of like that the Memphis car audio stitch um, stitch top it's pretty neat so, like I said, I may or may not keep that. Not too sure, but I plan on actually doing this box in a piano black, kind of like uh, like this. So it's piano black and glossed. I want to do that for this box. So if you guys want to leave me some advice on how to do that and make it happen, please let me know, and that way you guys can stay tuned and uh, stay updated on that build, because I really would uh, want to gloss off this box. It's a nice box, nice build. I'm the... Uh, do something with it. I just don't know exactly which way to want to take it. So, if you guys can leave me some advice on exactly uh, the best methods to do a MDF board box to make it piano black gloss, uh, the best example I can really uh, say is if you guys are familiar with Steve Mead, as I'm sure most, or if not all, car and audio enthusiasts know who Steve Mead is. He's got those uh, floor standing eight a uh, eight foot towers with the eighteen inch subs in them. And uh, those are glossed piano black, so that's kind of the exact way I want to do this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more soon.